Hi guys, this is Tim from Southern Exposure. Welcome to another episode. Today we're going to talk about a piece of equipment that we use inside of the uh, mill that we have. What all does a windshield wiper, a refrigerator, and a lawnmower have in common? That's what our edger saw is. The edger saw that we use on our mill is completely 100% homemade. The roller bed that I ended up getting I got from a scrap yard paid 20 bucks for it. I have an additional three sections of it outside. I just took the rollers from the roller bed and took and put them drill holes inside of the inch and a half by three tubing and put each one of the rollers in there. It's also riveted in on the other side. So in the event that you want to take the roller out, all you have to do is just drill out the rivet slide it one way and then it'll pop out on the other side. The switches that I have are just average everyday toggle switches. This switch right here actually controls the uh, width of the cut. In addition to that I have a power supply right here for the entire mill. The engine is just a Predator 420cc engine. I got at Harbor Freight. This engine works extremely well. It's an electric start. In addition to that, in the event that the battery is dead, which it is right now, then I can also take and pull start it. On this engine as well, you can see right here, I also have a run hours meter and an RPM meter so I can keep the RPM up on the blade as much as possible. You look over the top the two belts that drive the arbor shaft for the blade are B57 belts. That's the exact same belts that is what is required on my Wood Miser LT35. The alternator come out of a car and it's got one belt running it. All the pulleys and everything I ended up getting um, in a scrap bin at an industrial complex. So the battery come out of uh, my F-250 truck, one of the two batteries after I swapped them out due to life the life expectancy of the battery. Um, swapped it out, it works great. It worked great to start and stop this edger saw. Not so much anymore, it's dead. Then that is a 60 amp resettable um, breaker that runs everything else on board. So they're attached here. The wires are then it goes into this box right here. That box right there distributes power to everything else on the mill so that way there's one central location to go to in the event that something isn't working. In addition to that there's also an extension cord because I used to have a chainsaw that ran off a 12 volt and so I wired it to plug right into that cord right there so that way it was a uh, it would end up being the in cut saw for the end of the boards and I stopped doing that since it went to uh, DeWalt battery operated skill saw as you can see right here let me see if I can get it but there's one of the windshield wiper motors right there that's one of them and that that one ends up going into a sprocket it goes up to another sprocket that goes attaches to a shaft to another sprocket and then to here 
and all that does is the gear ratio to take them uh, increase the RPM of the uh, of this piece of Agni thread all thread which ends up driving our rip vents for the width of cut and the chain that's on here is number 40 chain it's the exact same drive chain that's used on the wood miser all the parts that I used on here I tried to use the exact same as the wood miser so then in the event that I was in a crunch and I needed parts I could take them off of here and use them on the wood miser right here is a laser I ended up getting off of Amazon so whenever the power's on it shoots a laser down the board to let me know exactly where the blade is going to run at for doing the first cut. This is a single blade edger. Up here is the increments of width of cut and then right here this little arrow right here um, whenever it's on wherever it's at that's what it will be on the other side. On top you have this lever right here in the event that the board is thicker than what the machine is set up for you do have that from time to time <coughs> you can take and pull on this and it'll lift that front feed roller up so that way you can grip the board send it through the blade and then spit it out the other side since you got so much stuff that runs off of electrical motors on here this right here is a voltage meter it takes and measures the voltage being kicked out by the battery or from the battery and the alternator so that way if your voltage starts dropping below 12 volts you have an issue with your alternator it's pretty much just a maintenance issue all the wires on here are encased in triple triple cased uh, um, rubber sheathing it's all 10 gauge strand wire copper wire and then uh, this right here this toggle switch is the switch that actually runs the laser this switch right here the laser is also plugged in right here with this plug so in the event that you got to take the hood off you can just take and unplug it and then take the hood off the feed rollers is ran by this switch right here that runs I'm going to have to go on the other side to get to it, but you can get a rough idea. Runs that windshield wiper motor right there. That windshield wiper motor is what actually powers the feed rollers. This being the feed rollers down here. These bottom rollers are the ones that actually take and force the wood through the blade. It's a 14 inch, quarter inch wide industrial ripping blade. So, got that on Amazon as well. This, this top roller just takes and applies force, and the bottom roller actually drives it. So it's just a single blade edger. These springs up here are adjustable, but that applies the tension to these feed rollers. Whenever both rollers end up going up, it applies even more force because the thicker the material is. <coughs> Alright, this box right here has a wrist add in it. This adjusts the speed of your uh, feed rollers. Faster or slower. So in the event that you end up cutting some really hard material, you can take and adjust the speed rate down, so that way uh, you, the wood will end up passing through the blade a lot slower. So you got the feed rollers right here as well. Uh, this is a pressure roller up here, and then down here is the actual feed roller that actually drives on the outbound side of the uh, edger. Those rollers, I couldn't afford the regular rollers for from a roller bed so I ended up just taking those and uh, that's just pipe is all it is and it runs pretty true so yeah that's just pipe 
These screens for the uh, guard up here actually came from a refrigerator. That's the grating on the refrigerator. The sheet metal that's right here, this came from an air conditioning system right here. All this angle iron and metal and stuff that I have here came out from a scrap pile. The wiring is uh, an industrial extension cord. That's what the wiring is. And there's that windshield wiper for the uh, drive rollers right here. You can see the motor, DC motor down here on the bottom and the gearbox is up here on top. Okay, this is up underneath on the out, out feed side. This right here is the blade, the 14 inch, quarter inch wide blade. You see your B57 belts right here running down from the motor arbor up to the arbor shaft for the blade. Right here is just a metal shroud that protects the engine and delivers all the sawdust down here, down below. Um, there is no vacuum system for it. I'd like to get one, but uh, right now it's just not feasible. I don't have enough time to deal with it. Um, right over here, you can see that windshield wiper motor as well as the drive chain that comes off of it that goes up to the uh, rollers themselves. And you can just barely see the edge of this black roller right here. And those rollers are actually has bed liner attached to them so it can grip the wood a lot more. What I'll do now is I'll go ahead and start the edger saw up and we'll run a few boards through it so you can see it operate. 